welcome my dear students to electrical technology laboratory now i demonstrate the experiment on characteristics of fluorescent lamps and compact fluorescent lamps first i show you the connection of this experiment you see the circuit diagram from this circuit diagram you understand that here two emitters two voltmeters one wattmeter and one varier that means auto transformer are required now i show you the auto transformer and all the indicating instruments first you see the varier then you see the voltmeter one voltmeter here you see the wattmeter you see the another emitter another voltmeter and another milli ampere okay so you see that the all the instruments are placed on the table such that you can see the reading perpendicular okay now i show you the connection how do you connect one instrument to another okay from here what you see you see the varier is connected to m terminal of watt meter i show you that here from varier it is connected to m terminal and m and c is to be connected by external wire and here you see that m and c are is are connected by external wire okay next what you see m terminal is connected to t1 terminal of fluorescent lamp here l terminal is connected to connected to t1 terminal of fluorescent lamp okay then what you see t2 terminal is connected to emitter one emitter which is connected to starter so t2 terminal t2 terminal is connected to one terminal of emitter here it is connected at com okay and another terminal is connected to starter here one ampere i can use here one ampere is connected to starter terminal st1 and st1 is connected to t4 here st2 is connected to t4 now what you see the t3 is connected to choke here t3 here t3 is connected here t3 is connected to okay sorry here t3 here this t3 is connected to here choke okay is connected to choke it is the uh, analog uh, it is the electromagnetic choke okay and another terminal of choke is connected to another emitter here it is the main emitter it is milli ampere and this Uh, wire is connected from choke to one terminal of emitter, and this another terminal is connected to is connected is connected to voltage terminal of watt meter here. So here this emitter is connected to another one terminal of watt meter, and this terminal is also connected to varier. So now here, so this one is connected to this one connected to varier. Okay, and you see that the voltmeter is connected across the varier. So here the voltmeter is connected across the varier. This is the one terminal of voltmeter, and another terminal of voltmeter is connected to varier. And here I can select 300 volt because the supply voltage. Uh, to the frozen lamp should be 220 volt or 230 volt okay that's why i can select here 300 volt okay and another voltmeter is connected across the frozen lamp just you see here so this voltmeter is connected to t1 and this terminal is connected to t3 so this is the connection of frozen lamp okay so now i show you how do you perform the experiment Okay. At first, I increase the voltage by 
razor slightly and check it there is sudden deflection or not okay so you see that there is no sudden deflection that means you understand there is no short circuit or there is no wrong connection so now slightly you increase the voltage and you can observe the frozen lamp now slightly increase the voltage so the voltmeter gives the reading of voltage and we understand how much voltage is applied to the frozen lamp so slightly i increase the voltage and also i increase the voltage gradually when it is near 160 i can slowly increase the voltage Just you see that the ionization process started and the frozen lamp is flickering. Just you see here that. So here I can use the 300 volt scale. So the upper reading of this voltmeter you have to take. So here the upper reading is here 200 volt. Okay. So now I can record the 200 volt. 200 volt is the starting voltage. So now I can record the starting voltage, starting voltage equal to 200 volt, okay. Okay, so now I can do again, then you can understand that the process. Okay, I can return back the video to zero position. You can wait for few minutes, then I start again. Okay, students, now I again start the experiment. Okay, now increase the voltage gradually. You observe the frozen lamp. And when it is around 180, now I slowly increase the voltage. You see that the flickering is started. And you see that the emitter reading, voltage reading are fluctuating. Just you see that. All readings are fluctuating. Okay, now here I observe also the emitter reading which is connected to the starter. You see that the how much reading in the emitter connected with starter. So it can go up to near 4.4. Just all the readings. Now here it is 198. So first time you can read 200. Now you can read you can read 198 volts. So around 200 you can read it. So you can take the average. So it may be 199. It will be 199 foot and the ammeter reading is 0.4 ampere. Ammeter reading. to 0 0.4 ampere okay and after after glowing of the frozen lamp you see the emitter reading is zero it is before striking it is before striking 
and emitter reading equal to 0 ampere it is after striking okay okay now I slowly increase the voltage in regular states and note down all the readings okay so now here what you see is 200 volts I can record all the readings so here supply voltage is 200 volts Supply voltage, supply voltage equal to 200 volt. Supply voltage is 200 volt. Then wattage equal to how much reading it is? It is 12. No, it is 14. Near 14. 14 into 2 it is 14 into 2 what why 2 here you see that the b1 and b2 are connected by the metal strips and you see that here i connect 300 volt and if you see the rating of the wattmeter that you see the rating of the wattmeter here the current is 1 ampere because b1 and b2 are connected and here i connect here 300 volt so the multiplying factor here 2 so that's why the actual reading of watt meter is 14 into 2 watt okay now you see the emitter reading starter that is 0 and here it is the voltage across the frozen lamp and this voltage is how much is to observe here it is 300 volt is connected so lower reading now upper reading so that means it is 140 volt so the lamp voltage lamp voltage equal to 140 volt and now I observe the main current here main current is I have to observe here it is uh, 150 60 70 75 77 the line current line current 177 milli ampere okay so now i increase the voltage slightly and check all the readings so here i increase the voltage and you can reach 210 volt so here is 210 volt so now we get the reading of wattage here it is 10 12 14 16 16 into 2 watt and the uh, lamp voltage here lamp voltage here it is 130 Seven, one thirty-seven. Here it is one thirty-seven volt, and the line current here it is two hundred nine, two hundred nine, two hundred nine milliampere. Next, I increase the voltage. Now it is 220 volt. Just I write here 220 volt and check the reading of wattage. Here it is. Eighteen. Here it is eighteen into two watt and lamp voltage. Thirty 4 35 135 volt and the line current line current here uh, 1020 to 30 
reading of uh, what is uh, each uh, 10 20 20 what 20 into 2 20 into 2 what and now I see the voltage across fluorescent lamp that is 130 volt that is 130 volt and I have to see the line current so that is 260 milliampere 260 milliampere now I decrease the voltage here I set the voltage 220 volt and check all the readings okay now it is 220 volt now I check the reading of what is here it is 10, 20, 18. Here it is 18 into 2 watt. Now I see the lamp voltage. Here lamp voltage is 120, 130, 133. Yes, 133, 133 volt. And now I see the line current. Here line current is 200, 210, 220, 230, 35. Okay. 235 milliampere. Now I decrease the voltage again. Now it is 210 volt. I see the what is reading here it is 16 into 2 16 into 2 watt okay now I see the lamp voltage lamp voltage here 130 136 136 136 volt now I see the line current here line current is 210 210 milli ampere again I decrease the voltage now the voltage is here 200 ok I note down 200 volt now I see the what is reading here 12 no 14 here it is 14 14 into 2 watt now I check the line the lamp voltage 130 138 138 volt 138 volt now I see the line current 
शेयर लाइन करेंट वन सिक्सटी सेवेंटी वन एट्टी वन एट्टी फोर वन एट्टी फोर मिली एम पी इतनी नहीं डिक्रीज द वोल्टेज now it is 190 volt now here it is 190 volt okay check the what is reading here it is 12 12 into 2 watt next i check the lamp voltage here it is 141 141 141 volt now i check the line current here line current is here 150 it is 150 okay again i decrease the voltage now it is 184 here it is 184 check the what is reading here it is 10 here it is 10 into to what now check the lamp voltage now here it is 144 144 one forty four now check the line current here it is 110 115 14 hundred 14 again i decrease the voltage now here it is 174 174 and check the what is here it is 6 no 6245 one minute one minute to what next next i check the lamp voltage here it is 150 volt now i check the line current line current here it is 75 milli ampere now i have to decrease the voltage uh very cautiously because if i decrease the voltage beyond a certain limit then the lamp goes off so we have to decrease the voltage very cautiously yes okay at what voltage the bulb extinguishes you have to observe okay just it is 164 at 164 at 164 the lamp blows off i can note down here the extinguishing voltage extinguishing voltage 164 164 volt okay again i have to do this experiment then check it at what voltage it extinguishes after that we can make the average what you start start now okay now i start for decreasing the voltage okay so already i got the reading when i decrease the voltage just i can verify this it is coming or not okay it is now at 230 volt and all the readings are basically the same reading what we got earlier okay here it is uh, 20 that's okay so every readings are coming 
in the same. So now I check at what voltage the lamp goes off. That is the important. I decrease the voltage and note down the extinguishing voltage. So now it is now near 180. Now I decrease the voltage slowly. And note the voltage when the lamp close off. Slowly decrease the voltage. Now here it is 158 volt. So first case it is 164. Now it is 158 volt. So if you take the average, then it is coming 162 volt. Average is 164. So around 164, you can get the voltage for extinguishing of the lamp. 158 volt the lamp glows off but 